So in today's video, we do have some more information regarding the Garden Warfare 2 update. We're going to be talking about Walnut Hills. We're going to be talking about how you can unlock the Twilight Chomper and what exactly the challenge or the objective is going to be to unlock that character. And we do have some more information as well. So make sure you check out today's video and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Garden Warfare 2 video here today on my channel. Today we do have some more information regarding the Garden Warfare 2 update. So this is probably going to be the last information or last update information video I make until the update does release on Thursday. Now I will be doing some videos on Thursday on this brand new update, especially Walnut Hills, which will be returning. I will also be doing some live streams later that night and probably live streams for the rest of the week uh, from Thursday through to Sunday on my Twitch channel. So if you haven't already followed it, there is a link down in the description if you do want to go and follow and then have a chance of joining me and having some fun over on the when the update does release. But that is the plans for the updates. Today's video is going to be talking about a bit more information that we do know and this was revealed to us from Sean over on Reddit. He answered a couple of questions and cleared a bit of information up regarding the updates and more importantly and probably what I'm assuming a lot of you will want to know is how to unlock the Twilight Chomper. I made a video yesterday talking about, you know, ways that you can unlock the Twilight Chomper. You can either instantly get it if you do have the Unicorn Chomper, as long as you log on before February the 28th. You can buy an upgrade pack or you can do some kind of challenge between February the 14th and February the 20th to be able to unlock that character as well. So there are three different ways and we do actually know the challenge or the objective of what we need to do to unlock this Chomper. And we will get into that in just a second. But before we do that, we're going to go take a look at Walnut Hills because we have some information regarding Walnut Hills and it's not necessarily going to be good news for everybody. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be upset about it. However, there are some people that do want to keep it in its classic mode and uh, this classic feel and this however this news will be happy or would be good news for those people so basically sean laker has revealed that walnut hills will be garden warfare one character classes only so there isn't going to be any imps citrons pawns roses super brains or captain deadbeards playable on walnut hills it's only going to be the original garden warfare one classes however you will be able to play as the variants from garden warfare 2 as well like the petrified cactus uh, the Electro P issues of the Rock P. You will be able to play as those new variants. You just won't be able to play as the new classes on Walnut Hills. Which, yes, does suck. It's Walnut Hills, you know, in Garden Warfare 2. You want to be able to play as the Garden Warfare 2 characters in that map. But they said that, that you know, with there's a lot of issues around the Walnut Hills map. And Sean actually does go into a little bit of detail saying, I know the community was hoping for full character support, but it wasn't possible for a team and a timeline. Doing this properly is harder than it sounds, and we'd rather release a fun experience than something that is unbalanced or broken. And it also allows for a classic feel. So from that information, the, he wants the classic feel to be here, but also the time that they had to create this map, they didn't have enough time, and they don't have a big enough team to be able to redesign or, or change the map around a little bit to make it balanced for the new classes. I'm assuming the main classes would be Citron, Imp, and Super Brains, I would say, are the main major classes. Super Brains probably the biggest issue because he could just jump over everything. And they'd have to try and redesign the map or rebalance it so that the, the Super Brains and the other classes didn't seem to make the map feel broken and make certain routes that you have which you need to take with all the original classes you don't need to take anymore you could just jump over them or something like that so i can understand that side of things but of course it is a bit upsetting that you can't play as the garden warfare 2 classes however walnut hills will be returning to the misty portal on february the 14th for a week and it will also be in the turf takeover map permanently so you will be able to play walnut hills for the rest of garden warfare 2's history which is pretty good news it's just unfortunate you can't play as the new garden warfare 2 classes also, we do have information regarding the Twilight Chomper. So, if you have the Twilight Chomper, but you don't have the Unicorn Chomper, for example, if you haven't leveled up the Unicorn Chomper at all, or you've only leveled up the Unicorn Chomper a little bit, but you do have the Twilight Chomper unlocked, you can level up the Twilight Chomper. It is like a normal variant, so it will have levels, and it'll probably have upgrades and stuff like that. And it will increase your rank 
in Guild of Warfare 2, provided that you aren't already at max rank. So basically, if you've got every character master, but you've never played the Unicorn Chomper, you've never played it at all, so it's only level 1, 0 prestige. If you have the Twilight Chomper and you level it up to master, it will get you to max rank. So you don't necessarily need to place the Unicorn Chomper to get to max rank, you can use the Twilight Chomper. But if you are already max rank and then you have the Twilight Chomper, leveling the Twilight Chomper up will not increase your rank. Your rank won't go above 5, 4, 55, it will stay at that rank, but if you are not max rank, the Twilight Twilight Chomper level progression will increase your rank. So they said we felt an exclusive character being required to progress wasn't the right decision. This worked with the Unicorn Chomper, but it didn't feel appropriate here. And that is what he says about that. So maybe they're going to have some kind of max rank in the next game. So obviously they don't want to just limit max rank to people that was max ranking Gano Warfare 1 with the Unicorn Chomper. So having the Twilight Chomper is another alternative to be able to get to max rank in Gano Warfare 2 without requiring to have the Unicorn Chomper already, which is pretty good news, I guess. Um, we do have some more information as well regarding some of the other stuff, but let's stay on the Twilight Chomper right now, because obviously we want to know, how do we unlock this character? And Sean actually goes into some detail. It doesn't say the exact figures, but he says it won't be a cakewalk. The goal will be player vanquishes via the community challenge. So it does seem like there's going to be some kind of a community challenge going on. And if we, we reach our personal goal, we will unlock this Twilight Chomper. He says you'll need to get a high personal threshold of player vanquishes over the period of one week. Not everyone is going to get it because it is going to be a high number. The good news is, though, that you have seven stages of Walnut Hill goodness to grind out on. So what he means by that is in Walnut Hills, there are actually seven stages, seven objectives that you need to capture before you move on to the final end objective, I think. Whereas all of the Garden Warfare 2 maps are six stages. So there's an extra stage in Walnut Hills, so it makes it that little bit longer, a little bit more chance per game to get more vanquishes. And uh, yeah, it is going to be a player vanquish personal threshold that you need to reach. So make sure you guys are on between February the 14th and February the 20th if you do want to get this threshold completed so you can unlock the Twilight Chomper. I'll probably make a video giving you all the details once we know them via the game, probably mailbox or something like that. And we'll be able to see exactly how many vanquishes we need to get. But Sean does state that it will be a high personal stage or personal threshold that you do need to get of player vanquishes to be able to unlock the twilight chomper but that is how it's going to be done player vanquishes personal goal to unlock this character between february the 14th and february the 20th and the final bit of information that we do have is regarding capture the taco and the new soil survivor mode it was basically talking about, you know, adding this to permanent mode. Some people have said, like, you know, why wasn't Capture the Taco added as a permanent mode and things like that? And Sean does go into a little bit of detail answering these questions. He says, adding a new permanent mode can be great, but it also splits up the matchmaking pool. So basically, if you have a new mode, if people are playing that mode, that's going to be less people to find in the other mode. So it doesn't want lobbies to be empty, which is one of the reasons why they haven't made it a permanent mode. He says, the number of Garden Warfare 2 plays is still very strong, but some regions and time zones could be negatively impacted. We're not big fans of filtering access to playlist modes per region. We prefer constant experience regardless of where you play. So they haven't added any permanent modes to capture the taco or soil survivor yet because obviously they don't know how popular the mode is going to be, especially after these changes. And they don't want to bring a permanent mode in for it to either be empty so nobody can play it, or it's going to empty up some of the other game modes. That is the main thing. Mass Cooper over on Reddit did actually say, why not add it to the regular mix mode rotation as a compromise, which I think is a really good idea. You know, you don't need to have a new game mode that everybody picks. Everybody just goes into mix mode, and you can then uh, just find Capture the Taco in that portal. So one game you'll have Team Vanquish, the next one you might have Vanquish confirmed, then you'll have Capture the Taco, then you might have Turf Takeover, something like that. And I think that's a really good idea and hope that that is the case if they're not going to make it permanent. Sean Laker does reply to say, it is a decent option and one we've discussed. We're a little worried about players entering and quitting to chase a specific mode though. We look forward to feedback on Capture the Taco expansion and Soul Survivor to evaluate further. So basically, he said, we have thoughts about putting it into mixed mode, but we don't want people to, if they don't like Capture the Taco or something like that, they don't want them to go into the game. Oh, this is Capture the Taco. I'm going to leave this game going to find another game of a mode that I like and that's going to leave the capture the taco lobbies a little bit emptier and stuff like that so that's what they're kind of thinking about right now I hope that it will be added to mixed mode obviously they said they're going to listen to feedback to make uh, more decisions on that but I would love to see both of these modes in capture uh, in mixed mode but probably not solo survivor 
But I would love to see Capture the Tackle definitely in mix mode. I think that would be a really good addition. It means that you can always play Capture the Tackle when you want to. You just play mix mode and then you do have a chance to play. And it's going to give an extra bit of freshness to the mix mode mystery portal, that's for sure. But uh, that is pretty much all the information we do have about the update so far. And probably the last video I am going to make, we know exactly that we need to get a certain number of player vanquishes as a personal goal to get the Twilight Chomper. The Walnut Hills map is only going to be the original Garden Warfare 1 classes, which is, does suck a little bit. But, I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to just playing as the original pea shooters and stuff like that in uh, in the game. And there's not going to be any super brains or imps or anything like that. It is going to be a nice fresh change to kind of play Garden Warfare 1 in Garden Warfare 2. That's going to be pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, we also know that the player rank isn't going to be increased if you're already max rank. If you do level up the Twilight Chomper and a little bit of information of what they're thinking about adding modes to permanent. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do drop a like down below. Follow me on social media and all that stuff. All the links are down in the description. Twitter, Discord, Twitch, you know, all of that. Make sure you go follow if you haven't already. The link's down in the description. And uh, hopefully I will catch you all in my next video.